Hello, my name is Zoe Perkins, and I will be presenting my research on the effect of environmental temperature on the resting energy expenditure of the common eastern bumblebee species, Bombus impatiens. Insects are susceptible to changing temperatures as their physiological and biological processes, notably respiration, are dependent on environmental conditions. Bees are no exception to this threat. As endothermic poikilotherms, bees exhibit some degree of thermoregulation while largely being influenced by their surrounding environment. When bees are at rest, they enter diapause, whereby gas exchange is in the form of a discontinuous gas exchange cycle, or DGC. During this time, energy consumption is low and stress tolerance is increased. Further, CO2 is released through the controlled opening and closing of spiracles, creating peaks in CO2 production. Diapause in insects is triggered largely by environmental cues, such as temperature. It is thereby the objective of this study to determine the effect of temperature on the resting metabolic rate, or RMR, of the bumblebee species Bombus impatiens. Respirometry techniques with which the equipment used can be seen in this image, were used to calculate and compare mean RMRs and Q10 values of B individuals across three temperature treatments and one control. CO2 production rate, or VCO2, was used as a unit of measurement and calculated using two different methods. Firstly, VCO2 values were extracted from B individuals exhibiting patterns of DGC. These four graphs represent an example of hand-selected patterns of DGCs taken during each experimental treatment. Secondly, VCO2 values extracted from B individuals exhibiting no signs of activity, as can be observed within this figure where activity equals zero, was used to identify Bs at rest. Mean RMRs during DGC were found to increase in an exponential pattern with temperature. Significant differences, as denoted on this graph through differing letters between treatments, were found between the control treatment at 25 degrees Celsius and the 5, 10, and 15 degrees Celsius treatments, as well as the 5 and 15 degrees Celsius treatments. These means were used to calculate Q10 values. This is a coefficient which represents the rate of change in RMR pertaining to a 10 degree Celsius rise in temperature. Q10 values between the control treatment and the 15, 10, and 5 degree Celsius treatments are observed to rise as temperature deviates further from average or 25 degrees Celsius. This means that as temperature deviates further from normal, RMRs decrease at a larger rate. This may suggest that more extreme temperatures could possess an increased potential to negatively impact the RMR of this bumblebee species. Mean RMRs using bees at rest follow a similar pattern as during DGC. However, less significant differences between treatments were found. Both the 25 and 5 degrees Celsius treatments are significantly different, as well as the 25 and 10 degrees Celsius treatments. Here, we can see that Q10 values are much higher than the normal two to three range, suggesting that measuring VCO2 using DGCs may have provided a more accurate depiction of RMR. We can still see the now familiar pattern, however, that there exists an increase in Q10 value between the significantly different 25 and 10 degrees Celsius treatment pair and the 25 and 5 degrees Celsius treatment pair. Once more, as temperature decreases further from average, there is a larger rate of change in RMR. In conclusion, significant decreases in mean RMRs during DGC were found between the control treatment at 25 degrees Celsius and each of the 15, 10, and 5 degrees Celsius treatments. Q10 values between these treatment pairs increased as temperature deviated further from average. Thus, the findings suggest that extreme temperatures could be capable of decreasing RMR in the bumblebee species Bombus impatiens.
Thank you very much.